You're looking at the American-made rocket and spacecraft that will return American astronauts to the International Space Station from American soil for the first time since the retirement of the space shuttle last flown nearly nine years ago. But if all goes well today, we will mark a new first in NASA's storied history and usher in the commercial crew era of American spaceflight. And we are looking at a live picture now of Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley walking down that hallway in the astronaut crew quarters. We just saw Doug wave at the screen, and they're just turning the corner, getting inside that elevator. And this, you can't see it from here, but there is a banner hanging there. You can kind of see it in the back. There's a banner hanging on the wall of the elevator with the signatures of all the people who worked on this mission. So it was really important for, for them to hang that up in there so Bob and Doug could see it. And there the doors are opening. Here they come. Great. And there they are, NASA astronauts. <laughs> Small crowd, but big cheers. NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley, Doug on the left, Bob on the right, waving to the crowd there to cheer them on. <laughs> and there are their families right in front of them. The virtual hugs, a very special <laughs> moment. Fist bumps. I can hear them. <laughs> Ready? Let's light this candle, I agree. Lost America! And there it is, that, uh, that shot really gives you a sense of the scale of the Falcon 9 rocket. Those Teslas look teeny, teeny, tiny, <laughs> uh, making their way up there. Yeah, really cool watching the Teslas pull up, driving on the launch pad just a few feet away from the vehicle. This is awesome and getting really excited over here. Corn, countdown one at two hours, 57 minutes. The crew has arrived at the pad on schedule. There they are, taken, taken in the sight, um, craning to see the top of the Falcon 9 rocket. Core on countdown one at T minus two hours and 46 minutes. The crew has arrived at the White Room and its ingress is in progress on schedule. And as they climb into Dragon, they will buckle themselves in and attach their umbilicals to their suits. And as you can see, the suit techs are there to help them get buckled and settled into those seats. And we can see the seats slowly start to rotate. Again, they're in this down position just to make it easier to climb in and out of Dragon. They'll rotate to this launch position to put their backs a little bit more parallel to the ground. It makes taking the G-Force a little bit easier for the crew on the way uphill, but most importantly, positions those touchscreens directly in front of them, which is just their gateway into Dragon. Dragon, SpaceX, seats are in the launch position. We copy. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. SpaceX, Dragon, we're go for launch. Let's light this candle. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed, Bob and Doug. America has launched. And so rises a new era of American spaceflight, and with it the ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9 and look at them go. Falcon power telemetry nominal. M1D throttle down. We're throttling down to get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. 
We're in the throttle bucket. Reports say all systems are go. Vehicle is supersonic. We've exceeded Mach 1 on the Falcon 9. M1D throttle up. We're throttling back up to full power as we're one through Bravo. Max Q. Copy, one Bravo. And we heard that one Bravo call out. That's just the second aboard zone that they're in. They'll continue to be on this until the first stage has done its job and they switch over to the second. At this point, Bob and Doug pulling about 2.3 Gs, 2.3 times the Earth's gravity already moving at over 1,500 miles per hour. We've heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. That's getting the MVAC engine ready to light. That'll come at about 2.44 into flight. Right now, everything continuing to look good. Next major event coming up is gonna be the triple. We'll have main engine cutoff of the nine first stage engines, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine to continue to carry astronauts into orbit. And what you're seeing on your screen is a live view of our drone ship, where our first stage will be coming down. Looks like we lost that live view, but we'll wait for confirmation of that landing shortly here. Falcon 9 first stage is successfully landed. And the there you can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed. This is the first Falcon 9 to carry humans to orbit, so very exciting for us. And as you can see on your right screen, Bob and Doug are still making their way to their targeted orbit. Dragon separation confirmed. Countdown 1 is unmerged. Separation confirmed. And there's that call out. Dragon is now officially making its way to the International Space Station today. Dragon SpaceX with that separation call. Uh, we have a few words for you from our Falcon 19. Standing by. Dragon, Chief Engineer on Dragon to Ground. Bob Doug, on behalf of the entire launch team, thanks for flying with Falcon 9 today. We hope you enjoyed the ride and Wish you a great mission. Thanks, Bala. Congratulations to you and the F9 team for the first uh, human ride for Falcon 9. And it was incredible. Uh, appreciate all the hard work. And uh, thanks for the great uh, ride to space. Copy all. Good luck. Like Proud of you guys and the rest of the team. Uh, Thank you so much for what you've uh, done for us today, putting America back into low Earth orbit uh, for, from the Florida coast. Got the out. Good luck. Godspeed. Without further ado, we would like to uh, welcome you aboard Capsule Endeavor. Uh, we chose Endeavor for a few reasons. One, because of this incredible Endeavor, uh, NASA, SpaceX, and the United States has been on uh, since the end of the shuttle program back in 2011. The other reason we named it uh, Endeavor is a little more personal to Bob and I. Uh, we both had our first flights on shuttle Endeavor, and uh, it just meant so much to us to carry on that name. Uh, that's what we decided to go with. So we hope you enjoy that name, and once again, welcome on board. Uh, today we accomplished the first flight off the Florida coast in uh, quite some time, and Doug and I were really proud to have an opportunity to be a part of that. Uh, we're doing it in a brand new uh, spaceship, a spaceship that's a lot different than its namesake uh, Endeavor, the space shuttle, in that it has uh, touch display screens that allow us to accomplish most of the interfacing requirements that we have. But we've got the capability to interface with the vehicle, and it's kind of interesting. There's a command. This little button over here is actually what the commands are for our displays. One thing that does get lost is there is a uh, extensive uh, button panel down below as well. So over on uh, this side, we can turn the displays on and off, as well as send some commands for some contingency situations. Uh, on the other side, we have the ability to uh, deploy 
shoots and things like that on entry. So uh, we do have some buttons, but the primary interface is uh, these displays. So nice, new, modern cockpit that we've got for our, our uh, compared to our namesake, the Space Shuttle uh, Endeavor. And I'm guessing it was the first time a space vehicle was flown with a touchscreen before. So we got that going for us. We did. It, in, it turns out end up with one stowaway on board our uh, vehicle when we launched today. It was not uh, uh, just Doug and I who uh, accomplished the launch here. We do have a, an Apatosaurus aboard. We both have two boys uh, who are super interested in dining and uh, we collected up all the dinosaurs between the two houses and Trimmer, the Apatosaurus, uh, got the vote from the boys to make the trip into space today with us. And so that uh, was a super cool thing for us to get a chance to do for both of our sons who I, I hope are super excited to see uh, their toys floating around with us on board. I'm sure they would rather be here uh, given the opportunity, but hopefully they're proud of this as well.